What's up guys, Iovo here, and today I have a brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make thumbnails for YouTube for absolutely free. Now, there are a ton of different services you can use, and this is the simplest one. It's Snappa.io. Now, this video is not sponsored. This is just the simplest way you can make thumbnails. Now, Snappa is free for about five thumbnails a month. You can download five images. So if you do run out, you can also use websites such as Pixlr.com. You can download GIMP. You can download paint.net and those are all other options you have for making thumbnails. Now with that being said, be sure to smash that like button down below. Let's see if we can break 3000 likes for this video. And with that being said, let's get started. Now the reason I chose Snappa is because like it says on the website, it's one of the easiest tools you can use. And that is true. You can use this tool and easily make amazing, you know, thumbnails and you don't have to worry about being super advanced with the software to make high quality thumbnails. Now the first thing you have to do is go ahead and sign up for an account. As you can see, it is very simple to sign up for an account. So we're going to just do that. And we're going to get started. And as you can see, they already have a tutorial you can watch on how to make your thumbnail. It's very simple. We're going to click OK. I'm ready to get started. And they already have all of these, you know, templates. And we're going to click on YouTube thumbnail or put in 1280 by 720 like it says. And as you can see, they already have templates you can use to make your thumbnail. So if you like any of these, you can easily edit them. But instead, we're going to create from scratch. So the first thing we have to do is add a background. So we're going to go ahead, go on Google and find a background. So we're going to maybe look up, you know, red background. And we're going to find one we like. This one looks pretty nice. We're going to click view image, save image as, save as red background. And we can go back now and we're going to click on background. Now, here's the fun part. You don't have to use that background. They actually have a bunch of backgrounds you can use and these are royalty free. So you can actually use them and have them in your thumbnails without worrying about copyright. So I can even look for, you know, red background on here. Maybe look red up and there's red backgrounds. Now, if you're not happy with these backgrounds, you can always go to patterns and they have these really sick ones. That looks really nice. I'm not even going to lie. Or you can even upload your own by going to uploads or you can go to color and just select any color you want. But we're going to stick with this pattern. You can also reposition it by clicking on reposition background and you can zoom in and move it around. So we're going to zoom in a bit, click apply. You can add some effects. So a color overlay basically means that it's going to put that color on top. So if I wanted to make this background darker, I could go and make the color overlay black and slide it up and it gets darker, or I could just darken it. I could add a blur. Uh, you could change the saturation, hue, brightness, contrast levels. You know, these are simple things and the software has them all. So once we have our background done, the next step is to add some text. So we're going to add a heading and we're going to make the font impact which is over here. We're going to make the size pretty large. We're going to make it 150. We can even make it larger. We can make it like 180. And we're going to type in this is a thumbnail. We're going to stretch it out. And we're going to make the color white. And we can also change the opacity. And then once we're done, we can click out and we can drag this. And I just realized I spelled thumbnail wrong. Thumbnail, stretch it out again, click out, move it, and it centers, and we're good. Now we can also add some graphics. Now you don't, you don't even have to look for graphics on Google. You can look up graphics within the software itself, which I find really cool. So for example, we can look up maybe a television, and then we can click on it. We can drag it out, and we can center it like so. Now, as you can see, um, the TV is on top of the actual text. So to change that, we can click on this layer button after we click on it and we can move the layer back and it puts it behind the actual text. And as you can see, it looks like a proper thumbnail already. We're just going to center it again like so. And there is our thumbnail so far. Now we can also go on to shapes and add in shapes the same way we added the image. And we can also go ahead and use these to move around different tools. So we can duplicate the layer, we can move it back and forward, we can delete it. And that's about it for the actual thumbnail. As you can see, it only took us a few seconds to make a proper thumbnail that looked professional and we managed to make it look really nice. Now, once we're done, we can go ahead and download this thumbnail and download it as a 
web optimized JPEG, which is basically, you know, for the web or for your YouTube thumbnail. And once it downloads, you can see it's going to show up over here. And if we click on it, we have our thumbnail. And that's about it for this video, guys. Let me know down below in the comments if you did enjoy it. But that's about it. If you guys did like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching. My name is Iovo, and I'm signing out.